Hi there, my name is Root, and today I'm going to be presenting Alchemistresses for the OP art presentation. Um, this is a very cool project. I designed it uh, with the idea that artwork uh, could be used to bootstrap community-owned treasuries. And then when you have something like um, artwork, you have basically a uh, marketing vehicle and you use that to rally the community that you're targeting around a cause that they value, right? So you are creating artwork which is intended for a specific group of people which reflects their thematic uh, vibe or aesthetic, right? And then you use the opportunity to raise funds inside of a community-owned treasury that allows that community to achieve more of its objectives. That's the whole point. So we received a grant from Alchemix, we meaning um, myself and the Dow House team, as well as an artist named Shizzy, uh, and then Alchemistresses was created, as well as a project called Moloch RDF. And what Moloch RDF does is it takes every NFT in a collection and it gives it a token bound account with ERC 6551. And then it issues out a Moloch share into that account. So that means that every NFT in that account has a vote over a Gnosis safe, a community owned treasury and holds equity which means rage quit rights over all liquid assets within that safe, right? So what shared objective would the Alchemix community want to rally around, right? I think that the answer to that is liquidity, right? Al asset liquidity on Velodrome. And that answer, the liquidity answer, is the same answer that you will see for a lot of OP DeFi, right? There are other variations to this, and I think, I think that the, those other ideas for what these treasuries could be used for is also very exciting. However, what we are doing here is straight up an LP cooperative, or if you like, kind of dicey, but it's a decentralized hedge fund that focuses on LPs as its primary asset, right? So here's how it works. At least this is our initial strategy. Um, we received some ETH from selling these collections on, um, you know, on Manifold. And then that ETH went into a treasury. And then we're taking that ETH and we're depositing two thirds of it into these Alchemix vaults for, uh, they're from Lido staked ETH and then uh, urine uh, ETH vault, right? And uh, this will derive Al ETH, right? And then we'll pair that Al ETH with some ETH uh, that's remaining in there. And then suddenly we have an LP on Velodrome earning like 13%, you know, APY with some nice little yields on our uh, non liquidatable leverage, you know, vaults from Alchemix. This is a great little setup. It's farming some Velo. We're gonna get some bribes. We're gonna get some OP rewards for locking because of the tour day OP. This is a great little process. And then what happens next is if you're aware, which I'm sure that you are, the Velodrome flywheel, right? Um, now you have some OP, what are you gonna do with it? Well, with some OP and then some uh, bribe assets, either gaining more OP or selling something, some other like token to gain Al USD, right? Depositing into that. Now we have an Al USD OP LP. And what that means is it's basically just, we want OP to go down. Please re, please reassume the people's prices of OP so that we can provide the liquidity to accumulate a better position, etc. right? And then uh, when that price goes down, maybe as a group, what uh, the alchemistresses could decide to do is uh, change our exposure to just holding OP or to uh, changing it into like Alith OP instead of uh, Alusd OP. And so that's where there's a little bit of discretionary power, 
right? The, the alchemistresses as a, as a group can decide, you know, where do we want to expand next? Do we want to continue to compound our VE Velo? Do we want to um, take the highest bribes possible? Do we want to direct VE Velo emissions toward al asset pairs? Like, who do we want to partner with next? You know, um, let's suppose that we issue out um, some requests for grant uh, money for more art collections to build out like 69 mistresses that are like of the you know, of the synthetics variety or of the thallus variety or of the optimism variety or of, of the like velodrome variety. And what do these look like? I'm sure that they're very fun and cute and interesting. And I'm sure that they would be thematically related to the target audiences that we're seeking, right? And then, you know, suppose uh, that we get like 55 people from velodrome who buy these velodrome themed like biker mistresses, right? And um, what do they want? You know, what's what's in it for them? I think probably more locked velo is in it for them, right? And then I think probably uh, using that locked velo in a sort of positive sum way to continue to build the LPs. And so you kind of see this responsive interaction with the community membership expansion and the portfolio expansion, right? What is a positive sum a conclusion that we can find by expanding to say yearn uh, community or to say like the Thales community or say like um, I don't know Lido or well there's a list right here you know um, we don't know uh, if these communities are going to be interested or not um, but we can present to them the opportunity to and if they are then they can join and if they're not, then, you know. I wanted this to be a fun way to make decentralized hedge funds and LP cooperatives happen. I think that ideologically, there is a, uh, a need for, if you like DeFi, you should have, you know, um, kind of a responsibility to build a long-term portfolio that involves LP usage. But it's kind of difficult. There's a learning curve, you know, it's like there's a lot going on there. And um, it would be easier if it was like a social club. And now it is. Um, Moloch V3 is fantastic. Uh, Dow House has just finished developing it like within the last year. It's outstanding. It's not being used very much. And that's a, that's a shame. You know, uh, basically, my opinion, every decentral, like every online community would benefit from having like a shared treasury. And given DeFi's like availability and open markets, you know, like I think that, I think that means that every single community needs to have a certain degree of financial literacy, which allows them to provide liquidity for assets in relation to what the market is doing to like uh, expose themselves to either risk or accumulation uh, and then you know maintain those positions over an extended time period to generate small treasuries for themselves that they can then use to pursue activities or fund um, projects that are important to them you know uh, I think that the LP cooperatives is just the tip of the iceberg for that, but it's an important tip. And uh, so that's what we are building with alchemistresses. Thank you for your attention.